So, you've constructed your Steady Maker tank, uh, you've built your rig, and you're taking it, the stabilizer outside. I'm going to give you a few general uh, tips and tricks for filming with your stabilizer. First thing is that I've attached a monitor to the top. If I'm holding my stabilizer in the standard way that you would hold it, which is, uh, I guess, waist level, chest level, you see that I can't really see the LED screen that the camera has at the back. So a monitor is very useful when you're lining up your shots. It's more eye level for you and it's a little easier to see what you're composing. So I attach a small HD, this is a small HD DP4 to my attachment at the top of the stabilizer. What I'm gonna do is I'll switch the motors of the stabilizer on, you'll hear it beep, and then it will align the camera in the center. So I'm switching the motors on. Now there are different modes with, uh, with this. The first mode I have right now is the default mode when you switch it on. It will follow the pitch. So if I pitch up, the camera will pitch up. If I pitch down, the camera will pitch down. It will follow the yaw. So if I turn left and if I turn right, the camera will attempt to follow. Now this is good, this is the default mode. The second mode, it will still follow the yaw. So in other words, the camera will turn to the left and to the right when I move the rig but it will keep the pitch horizon level. Now, the reason why this is very useful for outdoor shooting is often, if I'm doing a low angle and I'm holding the stabilizer close to the floor, you will see that I will naturally tilt the stabilizer forward. However, if I use this mode, it will keep the camera level to the floor, which is very useful if I'm walking around. Also, if I'm holding it up high, it will still hold the stabilizer level. So that's a useful mode. So I'm going to keep it on this mode for shooting outside. Now the next question is how to move with a stabilizer. Now a stabilizer is still far from perfect. It's, the, it's a good technology for stabilizing your shots, but it's still not perfect when it comes to certain movements. The biggest problem with a stabilizer is when people walk, they tend to bounce up and down. The stabilizer doesn't really adjust for this. Uh, also, it doesn't adjust for left and right swaying. So again, these are the movements you want to minimize. So the up and down bounce when you're walking and the left and right swaying. Now the way to minimize uh, those movements when you're walking is you keep your knees slightly bent. If you keep your knees slightly bent, this will absorb the up and down bounce when you're walking. And when you walk forward, you want to make a heel to toe rolling movement. A heel to toe rolling movement. So basically you're trying to maintain as much contact with the ground as possible while walking forward. And this will minimize the bounce. Your knees and legs will absorb the up and down bounce and your heel to toe movement will keep your contact with the floor at all times. So you keep your legs, you keep your legs slightly bent and you do a heel to toe forward movement, a heel to toe. It's almost like you're creeping forward. 